What's up guys? Welcome back to Jordan Hauser Digital for another episode where we take filmmaking and photography into our own hands by enlisting some DIY techniques to get pro results at an amateur's budget. Today we're talking about lighting and we're talking specifically about DIY lighting because pro lighting is super expensive. All right, we're talking thousands of dollars for a nice kit. So I'm gonna go the complete opposite direction and I'm gonna show you guys a few items that are very inexpensive that you can buy to use in your photos and videos. So the first one is this shop light. It comes with a clamp that you can pretty much clamp anywhere. Um, everybody's favorite, the China Ball. These things are like $10. The shop light's about $7.50. Um, and if you're using the shop light, here's a pro tip. Use LED lights instead of halogen lights because halogen lights are super hot and if you wanna put a filter over this to soften the light or a shower curtain, uh, the halogen light could possibly burn a hole in the shower curtain. LED lights stay relatively cool. So there you go. So what we're gonna do is set up a background and use some of these items to light a product, all right? So let's go ahead and we'll get that all set up. <music> So what we've got here is our white sweep, which is nothing more than a piece of white poster board. Um, we've got our product here, we've got our china ball, and we've got our shop light with the shower curtain filter. So what we're gonna be doing here is basically just showing you how you can shoot some nice product photography for like an e-commerce site or something like that. Anything that you want on a white background, this is a simple way to do it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and we're gonna lower the china ball down, get it closer to our subject, and we'll push the shop light in. So the trick here is we're gonna take these photos and we're gonna put them in the Lightroom and that's where we're really going to make this look awesome, all right? If you don't have flashes, don't worry. As long as you have a program where you can edit a photo, you'll be in good shape. So if you watch Monday's episode, you're gonna remember these. They're cake boards but we use them for reflectors. We got a silver one and we have a gold one. So we're gonna see which one looks better. You can see when I bring that in, we're shining some light there. So what I'm gonna do is shoot it two different ways. I'm gonna shoot it with the silver and I'm gonna shoot it with the gold. And then that way, in post, we have a choice. Um, and we'll see which one looks best. And that's the one we'll use. So we're gonna take these photos, we're gonna jump into Lightroom, and we're just gonna put the final touches on them. All right guys, so here we are inside of Lightroom. Uh, we have our two photos here, one with the silver bounce card, and the one with the gold bounce card. Uh, this one didn't come out as well because that gold really only affected the gold foil on the label. The silver really kinda gave the entire label a nice little sheen. So. I'm going to go ahead and edit this one. Uh, first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the party started with some white balance. Uh, this puts us right in the realm we need to be. From here on out, all we really need to do are final touches. And I'm gonna go ahead and boost our exposure a tiny little bit. Gonna get that contrast up a tiny little bit. Clarity. I loves me some clarity. So I'm going to go ahead and boost that. Let's go check the sharpening here. I'm really happy with this. That 100 millimeter macro lens is just phenomenal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that at 25. Uh, the only other thing that I'm really gonna do besides straighten it is go here into this blue channel and I'm just gonna just gonna add some saturation, really just kinda, you know, maybe nine ticks of saturation, and I'm gonna go and kinda darken these blues and really give them like a deep, rich color. Um, I really like negative 20 right there. So I am going to 
just brighten this a tiny little bit more. All right. So I am pretty happy with that right there. Uh, the only last thing that we got to do is go ahead and straighten that photo. And we were pretty damn close. Um, so here we go. There is the original straight out of the camera. And there is our final photo. So like I told you guys, it is possible to get professional results on a budget. All right, guys, there it was. DIY lighting at its finest. Uh, everything that we use today totals about 35 bucks, all right? And it sure beats the shit out of spending $2,000 or $3,000 on a pro kit. So if you don't need a pro kit, don't buy one, all right? If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for brand new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And don't you dare forget to meet me here on Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time for our very first YouTube live show, all right? We got a happy hour theme going on. We're gonna crack some drinks, just hang out, talk some shop. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope your takeaway is pretty valuable. I will see you guys on Friday at 5 p.m. for the live show here on YouTube. I cannot wait. We'll see you guys.